Hi everyone. Myself Supriya Basnur, Assistant Professor in Civil Department from Walton Institute of Technology, Solapur. Today's class, we are going to discuss on design of dog leg staircase. The learning outcomes of today's session. At the end of this lecture, students will be able to explain methodology adopted for design of various types of the staircase. Design different types of the staircases commonly used in residential and the public buildings. This is a typical staircase. The trade, it is the horizontal portion of the stair where, where we keep the foot, the riser, the vertical distance which leads to the other flight is called as the riser. The landing. Landing is provided to change the direction of the flight. So this is the requirements of a good staircase. Location. A staircase should be located for the quick and the easy, easy access. Width of the staircase should be 1 meter for the residential buildings. The pitch of the staircase should be approximately 30 degrees to 40 degrees. The headroom should be not less than 2.15 meters. The materials used for this staircase should be of steel, the teak wood. The landing should be of 1 meter. The winders are used in the staircase to, uh, during the direction of the flight, for changing the direction of the flight. There are different types of the staircases. This is a straight flight in which we don't have the change in the direction of the flight. This is a L shaped staircase where the winders are provided in the landing. This is a two quarter winder in which it contains the three flights and the winders are provided in the landing portion. This is the spiral staircase in which the radius of the curvature is small as compared to the circular staircase. This is a double winder. It is like a dog leg staircase in which the landing is in the landing we can see the winders are provided to change the direction of the flight. There will be two flights but uh, the space in the middle will be uh, not occupied. The proportion of the step, there are some of the ratios regarding the riser and the trade. Following rules may be adopted. The product of the trade and the riser should be around 400 to 450 approximately. The trades and the sum of the trades and the riser should be 40 to 45 approximately. The standard sizes of the trade is 30 centimeter whereas for the riser it is 14 cm in case of the residential buildings. This is the elevation of the dog leg staircase. This is the flight which contains the series of the steps which are connected to one another. And this is the landing portion which uh, where we have the change in the direction of the flight which leads to the other floor. That means the floor to floor connection is given by the landing. You can see in the section, this is the plan of the dog leg staircase. The 1, 2, 3, 4 numbers are given for the number of the steps. In the top view, if you see, the trades will be visible to you. So, this is the width of the stair. The width of the stair is provided as. Uh, as for the landing also, so the total length of the flight will be the space occupied by the number of the steps. The trades will be visible in the plan. This is the section of the staircase. The vertical is the riser and the horizontal member is called as the trade. So can you tell what is a bifurcated staircase? You can just think for a while and answer the question. 
this is a bifurcated staircase in which you can see that there is a flight a single flight which leads to the two directions that is two flights are provided to the left and the right direction this is rarely seen in the theaters and the auditoriums so here is an example an office building is to be located in a staircase measuring 3 meters by 5 meter if the vertical distance between the floors is 3.5 meter design the staircase the solution is if a dog leg stair having a stair width of 1.4 meter is proposed so the landing width will be also of 1.4 meter by assuming that there are two flights between floors we can get the height of the each flight that means the floor height with the floor height 3.5 meter it will be divided by 2 so that you get the height of each flight that is 1.75 meter let us assume the height of the riser as 16 centimeter as it is a office building that is a commercial building the number of risers will be 175 centimeter divided by 16 so that you get the number of risers which is nothing but the round off to 11 so from this you can get the exact size of the each flight that is number of rises minus 1 equal to 15 centimeters let the width of the trade equal to 27 centimeter hence the space occupied by the 10 trades will be 27 that is the number of the trade number of the trades into 27 you get 270 centimeter that is the nothing but the space occupied by the 10 trades so the space left for the passage equal to 5 that is the overall overall width of the staircase that is 5 minus 1.4 it is the width of the landing and minus 2.7 this is nothing but the space occupied by the trades so if you if you do the calculation the space left for the passage will be 0.9 meters in this in this way we can design a staircase by calculating the number of the risers and the trades you get the space occupied by the steps and the space occupied by the landing also these are the references thank you